What's going on, all you monster hunters? Your two favorite witchers are back for the second season of The Witcher. And I'm that rascal, Henry Hill. I'm here with my good mate. I'm Logan Myers of Rivia. Ooh, show me that sword. And I'm bringing some magic with you guys tonight. (laughs) These two... Fantasy enthusiasts are back talking about the brand new season, the first episode of The Witcher Season 2. And we had the pleasure of getting a press screener of this and a little Q&A with Uncle Henry Cavill himself, Geralt of Rivia, answering some questions from fans all over the world. So it was really awesome. So, you know, I want to say thank you to Netflix for hooking us up with the press screener of the first episode we had a really great time with it love the first season play the games the books are all they're all a good time but uh, it's cool returning to this world to see Geralt and his uh, other characters that he comes across along the way Yennefer Siri some others this is a I love this kind of fantasy world and ever since Game of Thrones ended the world's been wanting something like this show and this The Witcher really delivers on that it takes Obviously, the, you know, fantasy elements that we saw from that show um, and introduces like magic and just some really awesome fights between Geralt and uh, the monsters that he comes across. And the thing that you'll notice right away is the CGI is really top notch. They put a lot of money into this budget and it's beautiful the way they film it. The cinematography really shows off the landscapes here. You feel like you're in a big uh, world back in the day with Geralt uh, as he goes on his quest here and he comes across these huge monsters and he has these battles and that's I mean that's what I'm going for I had never read the book series or played the game so I didn't know any of the mythology behind it um, and the the pace I've been watching it I haven't been able to focus on it as much as say like Game of Thrones I've been kind of binging it going through it too fast fast <laughs> you know too fast to learn everybody's names and everything so I'll just admit my review is going to be biased. It's going to be mainly about all the action, but you know, I, obviously you're going to pick up on some of the the story elements too. Yeah. Basically last season, they were setting up for like a big battle of uh, Nilfgaard and everybody else with Geralt, Ciri and Yennefer at the center of it. And uh, Ciri and Geralt finally crossing paths, you know, in the setup of the season, them cr- crossing paths and him taking her to um, Tyre Morhen. That's his uh, childhood home essentially, where he trained to be a witcher. He's taken her there, and they come across uh, this old spooky manor. It reminded me of, like, uh, Disney's Haunted Mansion, uh, that ride they have there. It's, like, the old, like, you know, uh, pictures falling off the wall and creeks and stuff like that. It's a really cool setup, and that's where he comes across half-man, half-boar character played by Tormund from Game of Thrones, Novellin, or whatever the name was, and it was really cool how they did that. The CGI looked, and practical effects looked really good on that, but... Uh, set up a really spooky uh, scene with that character and half man, half boar, and you're not really sure what's going to happen, but uh, I thought it was really interesting. Yeah, he comes across all these interesting uh, creatures. Obviously, this story, uh, there's a lot of magic involved too, so you see a lot of that. Uh, It's really well done. I love uh, how Netflix really invested in this show heavily. Uh, They, you know, obviously they've uh, kept renewing it really fast every season, we already know that we're going to get more of this. So they're fully invested in this universe. And this feels like it's going to like, it's going to be like Game of Thrones. We're going to get spinoffs from this. Um, I, I think there is already a spinoff that's going to be coming very shortly with it. Uh, so if you're a fan of this kind of world and the, the world of the Witcher that it's, it builds, which is this huge world, it's a world that I'm going to revisit and get more in depth with the story so I know I can follow it better than I have you know I've been in it for the the sword fighting and the the big action scenes but uh the filming of it is really beautiful and it's really well done they have a lot of good dialogue between the actors as well they're taking it seriously and uh, the acting is is top notch in this it it, uh, feels authentic and you know it's it's something that they could have uh done for cheaper and not done as good of a job on but uh the witcher is you're getting the best of everything it's like really a plus talent involved a lot of uh actors that you've seen before in small parts getting uh to do more in the show and you see a lot of the characters from season one uh come on to the second season um i'm a couple episodes in 
Um, so you'll see some, uh, you know, favorites from season one come back as well. Yeah, you can definitely tell the stakes are higher in this season. The production value, they have a larger budget. You can tell the first season, some of the CGI didn't look very good, but the first episode, it looked absolutely beautiful, realistic. You can tell they got more money to play with and it got renewed for another season. So, you know, they're going to be setting this up for many seasons to come. I'm really excited to see where they take this world. An open world, there's so many creatures and monsters that they're going to come across. The monster, monster of the week episodes each week, uh, you know, the Witcher taking on somebody new and beat the shit out of them. So it's really interesting. You guys are fans of Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones. This is a show right up your alley. And it's something that I've been enjoying since the beginning. Really excited to see where the rest of the season goes and what happens to our favorite characters, including Mr. Henry Cavill himself. Henry Cavill loves playing this character. He's been interviewed a lot and said this is really like a dream project for him. And he can tell he's really, you know, he's he's lapping it all up. He likes being the big hero. Uh, he's obviously been training for the role. He's he's jacked. He has to hold those huge swords and he has to sell you on being the Witcher. And he does a really good job of that with his beautiful white wig. Um, and then, they, <laughs> they, you know, they change his eye color and make him look really awesome. Uh, and the fight scenes are amazing. Like you believe them, you believe them all the way. Um, and uh, there's some awesome scenes with some crazy looking creatures. Um, very cool to be introduced to a character actually plucked straight from Game of Thrones. Old Tormund himself, uh, mm -hmm. he he shows up uh, as this character that you won't recognize at first. And then you'll, you'll find out that uh, that was him. So that was a, a nice little surprise knowing that he's going to be a cast member now. Um, and uh, obviously, Yennefer from the first season with her magic, um, that uh, plays a big part in the second season. And there's some great scenes showing what she can do, too. So lots to love if you love the fantasy world. And especially if you loved season one, you're going to love season two. It maintains the same quality, uh, the same beautiful uh, you know, directing and cinematography. And the acting is top notch, and it's uh, just going to raise the bar here as the uh, the as we get more and more into the Witcher story, and uh, meet all his uh, you know friends and enemies along the way. So, with that being said, I had a really great time with the premiere of the Witcher season two, and I am going to give the premiere episode a four out of five Witcher hair pieces. <laughs> Yeah, and checking out a press screener, the first episode of season two, I loved it. I was really into it, really cool. Hearing Henry Cavill talk about the episode, working with the you know, actors, actresses, and show, and what to expect the rest of the season, upcoming seasons. So I had a really great time with it. I'm really excited to watch the rest of the season. I mean, this guy will come back and review the entire season. But uh, with that being said, first episode of season two, I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five Henry Cavill hair pieces. <laughs> Oh, yes, definitely check out The Witcher Season 2. It's now streaming on Netflix. Been doing really well. It's been staying in the top two. I think Don't Look Up took, took over number one. But, yeah, The Witcher's been number one. Uh, so it's doing really well, getting a lot of views. And if you haven't seen it yet, we definitely recommend you check it out, especially if you're a big fan of Game of Thrones and uh, The Lord of the Rings and the fantasy. Uh, this has everything. Awesome epic fight scenes, beautiful camera work, great acting, awesome creatures and monsters, great uh, yeah, sword fights. It's got everything and it's got Henry Cavill, um, big star at the lead. So we had a great time reviewing this. Uh, thank you guys for checking out our uh, social media pages, our website, and of course our U YouTube channel here. If you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button, like us, uh, please comment on our videos. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, and all that good stuff. And uh, we will be back very shortly with some more great reviews here at Cinefellows. Also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, other social media pages. Like and subscribe there as well. That's it for this review of The Witcher. Their two favorite magic enthusiasts are signing out. Until next time. Cheese! Cheese! Uncle Logan. <laughs>